filling in for Josie Terry, and you are watching Northern Student TV. Before anyone can go on a mental break during homecoming, we go on location with Sydney and Emily as they provide some much needed study tips as we approach midterms. <clears throat> this is On Location with Sydney South and Emily Duque. We have 10 study tips to get you through your year. Tip number one, time management. Tip number two, laminate your notes so the tears roll off. Tip number three, make flashcards. Tip number four, use colorful pens and highlighters to give yourself the illusion that you're organized. Tip number five, take short breaks. Tip number six, make a to-do list of everything you need to get done and then do everything besides those things. Tip number seven, get a study buddy. Tip number eight, start a really good series on Netflix right before a big test. Tip number nine, make sure you get enough sleep. And tip number ten, if you think you've studied enough, you're wrong. This was On Location with Sydney South and Emily Duquette. Back to you. I may have to use some of those tips for finals too. Moving to sports, CJ gives us an up close with our very own Beavers wide receiver, Landon Jones. For NSTV Sports, I'm CJ Baumgartner and I'm here with new wide receiver, Landon Jones. How's it going today? Good, how are you? Uh, doing good. So you're not uh, from this area, you're more from out west. You kind of want to tell us uh, where you were before you came to Bemidji State? Uh, yeah, so I actually was originally born and raised in Washington. Um, lived there for 16 years. I, uh, I moved out down to California my senior year in high school, played four or five years out there, and then went back up to Washington to play uh, at Central Washington University, and then, you know, made the change and came out to Minnesota. Uh, what led you to come way out here to Minnesota? Um, just the opportunity. You know, I'd, I had a better opportunity to come out here. Um, I talked with a lot of the coaches, and, you know, they gave me a shot, um, and that was all I was asking for, and that's the biggest reason why I actually moved out here. All right, so what about the BSU coaching staff made you feel uh, very comfortable mm -hmm. with your decision to come here? Um, well, so I actually knew Coach Bish. Um, when I was in California, he actually tried to recruit me. Um, I kind of turned him down at first and, you know, regret that a little bit, but, uh, you know, I contacted him back and they just, they really opened up their arms and were like, you know what, you know, if you want to come here, we'll give you a shot and, you know, see what you can do. What makes you so hard to cover? You've had four touchdowns so far this year. You've averaged over 100 all-purpose yards per game. Uh, what about your game makes you so hard to cover and take down? <laughs> oh, man. I'm too fast. I was just I'm too fast. Um, you know, uh, it, it all starts, you know, with the linemen, good snap, good ball. You know, other receivers actually grabbing the safeties. Um, you know, they just, they trust me that, you know, I can beat my guy one-on-one -on -one or whatever it may be. And, you know, when the ball's in the air, it's just, it's mine every time. A couple lighter questions here. What are your favorite things to do at BSU outside of football? Outside of football? There isn't much to do outside of football. <laughs> There's school football. Um, You're not much of a fisherman or anything? I, I can fit. Yeah, I fish a little bit. Um, you know, I, I like my games. I like my games. I like, you know, just hanging out with the guys. Um, hanging out with my family. That's, that's kind of my biggest thing. I'm, I'm a family guy, so I like hanging out with them. All right. And uh, what do you plan to do after Bemidji State University? NFL. Really? Yeah. All right. Come on now. I, I, I'm, I'm going I'm to go somewhere. I'm going to be somewhere, you know. Uh, whatever path it might be, you know, I, in the end, I, I'm going to be there. Our conference has produced some NFL talent. You know, Adam Thielen played for Mankato. C.J. Hamm is a fullback for the Vikings. He played for Augustana. So we obviously have produced some NFL talent. Oh, yeah, you know, um, Coach Bish talked to me a lot about, you know, uh, Thielen just himself, you know, being a D2 guy, 
you know, and he said, you know, our games are a little different, but, you know, very similar story. And, you know, that's, you know, I feel they, they feel that that might be the path for me. And that's definitely the path that I feel for myself. Best of luck to you this season. Best of luck to you afterwards. Thank you for coming in. Best yeah, of luck to you uh, this season. Uh, for NSTV uh, Sports, I'm CJ Baumgartner, and we'll kick it back to the studio. Time for me to check out the next game after that interview. Now, before the lake freeze is over, it's best that we check in with Eric as he provides some much needed tips and tricks for catching that big one. Hi, my name is Mike Zatera with the Bemidji State Fishing Team. And today I'm going to teach you how to tie a power mar knot. So, to tie the power mar knot, there's two ways to start. The first way is simply you put your line through the eyelet of your jig or hook and put it right back through to create a loop like this and a tag in on the other side if you can see that. The other way would be to start off a bending your line and pushing it right through. This only works though if your eyelet's large enough like on this jig for example it is. So the next step of what you do is you do an overhand knot by holding the loop on the one end. You're going to wrap the loop over the line and back through to make an overhand knot here, which I'm struggling with. There we go. Pull that tight there a little bit, but not too tight. You want to still be able to drag your tag end pretty close to the end of your jig there, your eyelet. And with this loop now, you're going to run this loop right over and around your bait. And simply make sure all the skirt comes out of your knot there. And then you're going to wet it down to reduce friction. Pull it tight. Now then pull this under with your teeth or your fingers, whatever works best for you. You're going to cut off your extra slat here, your tag end. And right there you got one of the strongest knots on the market where it's a braid, monofilament, and fluorocarbon. So that's how you tie the power mar knot right there. I'm Mike Zatera with the Bemidji State Fishing Team. Thank you for watching this segment and I'll see you on the water. Thanks Eric. We certainly won't have to tell some fishtails after those tricks. That's all we have time for today. So tune in next week as we move to Fridays at 5. This is Alyssa Mess and you have been watching Northern Student TV. Oh, what's up? I didn't see you there. Your girlfriend's favorite DJ, DJ Sooms. Don't forget to change your radio dials to 89.7 KBSB FM 90. Check out our TV station on KBSU Channel 17. And don't forget to pick up your campus magazine from the Northern Student. Want to join our team? Contact the KBSU station manager, Andy the Man Kuchera.